Hi friend, this is your Dr. Iqbal and you are watching YouTube channel Mila Baba. Our today topic is how provincial nominee program works and we will be focusing on Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program. If you are new to my channel and have passion for Canadian immigration and education, consider subscribing it for my weekly uploads. So let's dive into our today's video. Saskatchewan offers all newcomers a high quality of life, a strong sense of community and employment opportunities making it a great place for you and your family to live in like a home. The province currently provides one third of the world potash and fifth of world's uranium. Saskatchewan supplies more than a third of the world's total exported wheat and is the world's top exporter of lentils and dry peas. In addition to being a world leader in agriculture, Saskatchewan is the fifth largest oil producer in North America. And the manufacturers are producing a wide range of goods that are exported to the markets across Canada and around the world. Saskatchewan has a vibrant art and culture sense, scenic provincial parks and plenty of sports and recreation opportunities. Known as birthplace of Medicare, its residents enjoy free medical care and excellent healthcare services. Saskatchewan is a great place to live and raise a family and to locate or invest in a business. Housing costs are lower in Saskatchewan than in most major cities in Canada and owning a home is affordable and achievable for most people. Saskatchewan is a home to people of many faiths, backgrounds and beliefs. Newcomers to the province have an opportunity to maintain their own cultural traditions as well as participate in new ones. People of many faiths and religion beliefs live in Saskatchewan, including Muslims, Hindu, Buddhists, Baha'is and Christians. Uh, there are four SINP categories you can apply. Number one, international skilled worker category, which is for skilled worker abroad who want to work and live in Saskatchewan. Number two, Saskatchewan experience category. This is for foreign nationals who are currently living and working in Saskatchewan. Number three, entrepreneur category which is for entrepreneurs who plan to start a business in Saskatchewan. And number four is form category, which is for experienced farmers who plan to buy and operate a farm in Saskatchewan. Today, I'll be talking about international skilled worker category. And this has further three subcategories, which are international skilled worker employment offer, International Skilled Worker Occupation in Demand and International Skilled Worker Saskatchewan Express Entry. So I will be talking about International Skilled Worker Employment Offer. You may qualify for this subcategory if you live outside Canada or have proof of legal status in Canada. 
and number one score a minimum of 60 points out of 100 on SINP number two have at least one year experience in the last 10 years in your intended occupation number three have a language score of at least Canadian language benchmark four and number four you should have an offer of permanent full-time employment in Saskatchewan you must provide all required documents forms to prove you are eligible for SANP nomination you will also need these documents to prove your identity work experience academic credentials and language ability you must have a letter of job for full-time permanent employment from a Saskatchewan employer in the NOC matrix level O, A, R, B occupation are in a designated trade in Saskatchewan. All the positions must offer wages and working conditions that match Canadian standards in that occupation. The letter of offer must be addressed to the principal applicant it must state the job title, duties, responsibilities, wages, benefits, and company contact information. It lists the location, town, city of your position in Saskatchewan. It should be issued on a company's letterhead and it should be signed by the employer. To meet the language requirement, you must provide language test result from a designated testing agency. You must have English and or French language ability of Canadian language benchmark CLB4 or higher. Your test result cannot be more than two years old at the time of application and CLB4 is the minimum however employer and regulatory bodies may require higher language score and CLB4 is equivalent to ILET general training which is listening 4.5, reading 3.5, writing 4, speaking 4. You must have a minimum of one year paid work experience in the last 10 years in your intended occupation. Documents must include letters of reference from the supervisor or human resource officer printed on the company letterhead or the applicant's official workbook or other official government documents. Each letter should indicate the following. Number one position and the dates of employment number two main duties and responsibilities number three the number of hours you worked each week if the position was not full-time and the contact information of your employer or supervisor or manager you have to provide birth certificates national identity card, marriage, death, adoption, etc. All these are the civil documents which should be provided by the principal applicant. The principal applicant should provide passport of his or her own spouse, common law partner if applicable and all the dependent children accompanying you to the Canada if applicable. High-skilled employment offer from Saskatchewan employer, you will get 30 points. Close family relative in Saskatchewan, you will get 20 marks. Past experience in Saskatchewan, you will get 5 marks. Past student experience in Saskatchewan, you will get 5 marks. So the total marks become 60 and the maximum points you will be getting are 30 out of 60 marks
you have to submit an online profile in IRCC Express Entry Program. Once you are accepted into the Express Entry Pool, you will receive the profile number and job seeker validation code. You should follow these five steps. Obtain all the required documents. Review and organize your completed forms and supporting documents. If you received an invitation to apply as an expression of interest candidate, you must log in using the same account that you created for your expression of interest profile. You have to complete the different sections of your online application, scan and upload all your document forms and required documents in the PDF format onto your online application. Keep the originals for your record. Save, pay the fees, Saskatchewan Express Entry and Occupation in Demand subcategory only and submit your profile online. Be sure to complete, scan and submit the following to the SINP as a part of your application. All provincial and federal forms you will need for your application and all the required documents. Your application may be rejected if your documents are missing, not translated or not clear. If the SINP rejects your application, you will send with instruction on what is required or missing and how to apply again. You can only have one active application with the SINP at any time. Multiple applications are not accepted. Thank you very much for having me. Take care of yourself. See you next video. Till then, bye-bye.